this is for healing. This is for healing, light, physical healing. Listen, you want to just do physical healing, like an yeah. actual physical I'm also a Jomita seed part as well. So me and Jomita is part of coming. Okay. Yeah, let's do physical healing. All right. Hopefully, I won't uh, shape shift into anything. You want to combine fields so that our, te our, our teams are working together on this? Yeah. Pretty okay. Up to you. higher selves right now in the planet. Uh, sending the golden codes of viewing the energies. So actually quite a bit of people who are watching or who are gonna watch this. Quite a lot, hundreds. Um, all right, so I'm actually gonna do something where I call it like um, uh, similar fields, similar conditions, so I, I can deal with groups at once, understand what's going on. Like we're all sending in healing and light streams, but I just want to see common problems that people are having. Clusters are the same. The field codexes. I can feel a lot of bad backs. I'm bringing in the thirty chakra uh, crystal, gold crystal, uh, using the colors of light. A lot of people I'm seeing with low, like um, calf and joint pain around the calf muscle. And like the sh the low the back of the shin and in into the foot. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm just gonna take care of this. It's like an inflammation, in the energy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of this cluster, of these codes. A lot of people with codes. I'm gonna take these codes away. Okay, let's see what the other stuff's about. So this will leave the joint pain. Or stomach issues. Okay. An acid buildup, acid building up in people's systems. All right, so let's just alleviate that. What's being told, if you've got something wrong with you, send it to your 11th chakra to change it. You do it, just send it. Want to delete it? All right. So you just feel like the, the stomach issue. It'll just start to like you just feel energy just leaving and changing, and all of a sudden settling almost like you're drinking like a like a ginger ale soda and it just settles the, the stomach you just feel that uh, let's see what the next cluster Planet. Yeah, why, why are we just that. sending it to like people who are watching? So we'll send it to the people who are watching, but okay, now we gotta work with, well, it's because the energies are so much, we need more light, more 
if uh, anyone watching this wants to link with us to our eel of planet I'll give you permission David does <laughs> this reminds me of when uh, when we were Hermes and Toph we used to merge Give Toth a bad rap, but he, he actually got killed by the bad guys defending Egypt. And this whole story got manipulated. Central sun and go in, put it onto our normal sun. Is that possible? Everything's possible. Taking care of the so you take case. I know it's just so much energy to work with. There's so many different strands. Um, I'm just gonna send connect this to my soul right now. I put it on autopilot and send that level so it'll be much easier so now you want to go to the sun i was just thinking can we bring central sun in to our sun so okay. what what comes out of the sun is central sun is that possible we can merge solar grids um, let's do it uh, and whoever's got that pain ah oh, that's awful <laughs> We can't. We're not ready to do that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah bring in uh, the ascension too quick. <laughs> it's like around the central sun, you have a lot of like um, high, like 7D type of planets. So we are not going to 7. Like there, you can access 7. On Earth, but we're not sending into 7D. We're sending into like a very high vibrational 5D heart-based reality. So we merge the central sun. It's eventually the Earth will send to 7D. It's just not ready yet. They're saying I was trying to merge the grids. And they're like, you got, you can't. There were some things we're allowed to bring. Some energies we're allowed to bring through from the central sun. You can uh, bring in like 60, 70, 80 chakras, but you don't like you can you can merge with the central sun. Every you mm. can you can merge it with and upgrade your grids. So let's let's do that for everybody who's watching. Anybody solar grids of the central sun who is ready for this? I mean, we don't want to overdose anybody with life. <laughs> no, let them decide. They're saying let them decide. So, yeah, they want to. Okay, so they said those who are ready will agree. So only those who are ready, and like honestly, if you're, if you have, even only if it is instantly yes, then we'll, we'll upgrade your solar grids to the seven, the higher level of the central sun. So we're just gonna bring that in to the people who are saying yes instantly, who are truly ready. Um, you're like getting hit by like a big blast. Um, and if you did say yes and you knew 100 percent and you're going through an upgrade you're definitely going to want to ground after this go for a walk or something it's a walk. if it's too much for you just close it yeah Galactics, they want to invite you to call in one of your galactic aspects right now. It could be a Lyran, it could be a Palladian, an Arcturian, um, but they are watching this and they are aware through the light that we're bringing in that they can easily come down 
your light strand and merge with you. So whoever's ready, who truly wants to integrate with an aspect of themselves that is a galactic being, just call it in and they are gonna come in now to merge with your field. Yeah, me, me and Dave work together in the galactic field. Lots of lots of galactics coming down. It's good. It's good to see that, and you know that's going to help you out on your path. And you'll feel it. You'll, you'll be feeling like home is merging with your field. aspect that you just merge with they're showing me how that part of your dna is going to awaken within you and so just that will unlock gifts just that um, when are they you're just gonna have to wait and see or expand or get into consciousness expansion light going up all over it actually helps with um, grid points and star seats because um, when you integrate with an aspect not only does it awaken your DNA all of a sudden this energy comes in through you and then goes through you and goes into the earth's grids and it's like a key codex that sends out to other star seeds on the planet maybe children maybe teenagers to that code that soul tribe that you're part of and it sends it to them to help awaken it within them um, it's very beautiful how this all works this is why the global awakening has happened it's all of these grids all of these integrations all of these things that we've anchored in it goes to other people. It shifts grids and it brings in higher consciousness to other people. And then it opens them up. So like we're so connected that it's quite poetic how how it works. I'm, uh, I'm sending central sun to everyone's aura field. Yeah, they're showing me there's still something to do in the sun, the actual sun, so I'm going into it. Uh, I'll probably open my eyes and wear a dress. <laughs> For me, Lemuria. Okay. All right, so we're in the sun right now, and the golden template for the golden starship seeds. This is for the golden children to help them awaken. And we're just going to send it to all these these kids on the planet who, to help them open up. Remember, um, is that through the light grid? Yeah. Star symbols like seven star symbols in blue, you know, like forming like a pyramid to put in seven stars, seven sided. Right, uh, I think it's because you're working with the solar bodies that are connected to the celestial consciousness. Anchoring it in um, through stars, it looks like. It looks like you're working with stars to anchor it into these people. Star consciousness. It's just a way to do it, for sure. It's all part of the solar grids. It's
Faye Lap died a constant night. Yeah. Golden Stardust. Starlight being goddess just came out of it. of light um, they're scented female beings light beings they are, they're people who are reaching out to them across the planet they, at a level they're here They're bringing, a new, they're bringing in new levels of source you know, to everybody on the planet right now. Higher levels of opening up a lot of gateways. What were you saying? They remind me of Egyptians. Wow, they are powerful. Holy smokes. They're doing crazy crown activations. Just like so powerful. They are removing the word, um, I shouldn't say that, it's a better way of saying it. Um, they are doing an ancestral collective healing on shame and guilt. Um, and they clear out of the genes for future generations and stuff um, to help the newborns on the planet. Um, it's interesting. It's for the ascension. It's a gift of the guides to become brighter as we are illuminated. Beings of love. They're in the, okay. Like the golden cities of light. They're from the Golden Cities of Light. Okay. They're DNA template restorers. So they're clearing this out for the children right now. And all those who are being born. systems are disrupted um, they have to clear differently when you remove it from their templates but they still believe it so their consciousness is it's healing that's kind of what I thought in the generations that are to come this won't be an issue as it will be healed Gods are coming here. What's going on? This is Shiva. What are you doing here? The masculine. I'm working with the seven. feminine beings, light, and then Shiva, and these other gods are working in to bring in the masculine. So, um, okay, gods, light beings, all here doing this work. This is a lot of light, and it's for sure. Everybody who's watching will feel this a lot. Um, this is too much light for people. They'll assist to integrate. Do not worry. They use grounding. Use 
the trees, the halo, the code, all the tools. Okay. So I think, Phil, we can just go into grounding mode at this point to help everybody. Yeah, I was just changing the this energy to try and also clear people's if anyone's got any implants implant i know we've tried to get rid of them loads of times so i'm just asking that so are we doing grounding there okay if you want to do that i'll do a grounding so we can quickly if my person's going to activate hands amplify expand grounding 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 through the macabre grounding through the macabre grounding through the macabre grounding 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 okay That actually might work. Never thought of doing a Merkava grounding before. Can I do my halo one? Yeah, do your halo. Uh, anyone who wants to join me, visualize um, well, two halos going spiral at, the, at your crown chakra, above your crown chakra, like bringing Gable's light energy going up round and round and it just goes slowly into your crown chakra and it's clearing it changes color it needs clearing and it's going all the way from your crown chakra to your third eye and going down to your and it's going down it's pushing down and down it goes into your throat chakra and then slowly slowly down slowly down breathe nice big breaths let it fire in and then let it out and then it goes to your heart chakra heart chakra and if any emotions just let it to take it away and it might turn green to nourish your heart chakra and go to your sacral chakra uh, solar plexus and your sacral all the way to your root all the way and then let it go down to your feet just nice and breathe They said that they said to do the tree one too, so we'll just do that. So just think of a tree in your yard or out on the street or somewhere, a tree that you know, somewhere close by. And with intention, just merge your consciousness with it and tell this tree to take all of your excess light and funnel it down through the tree and into the grids, just sending it out of your field into the grids all these extra light that you don't need you only want the light for the integration that you need and you're basically merging with the tree you become the tree and the light comes out of you down the roots out into the grids out to all those that need it and again take the deep breath through the top of the tree that you are down the roots out the roots out your feet into the grids the surplus energy it's amazing can i do another one this is yep. the one that i used to do as a child okay a 10 year little seed so you've got to visualize a little seed in the soil and then you grow into a big massive oak tree and you collect all the energy and then you do a reversal and then push it to grab down into the sand into the uh, into the ground uh, that takes all the energy but you've got excess into that yeah, but I'm okay. Yeah, that's what I used to do as a kid. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so you have a YouTube, don't you? What's your YouTube these days? The one that you use? Yeah, what subscribers? <laughs> no, no. Like, what's like if anybody wants to see some of your healing videos? Uh, or something? Philip Barrow, Raphael. I think we've done thirty, and this will don't end up on it because you know what I'm like. <laughs> You say Philip Beryl Raphael? Yeah. Okay. All right. And I think the other aspects have got a point of saying, where's ours? <laughs> Why is it only Raphael? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, Raphael was my early one, and uh, that's why he's been with me all my life. Uh, and seeing a, a sword grab of your hand from your heart chakra, that's amazing. And if anybody's wondering where to start, inner work I have a site it's called uh, masters journey masters journey dot o d i p o d i a dot com and just find the uh, course called the body the master series and I wish that that was there when I started my path but 
There you go. Put, put a link.